Okay, hello everyone, this is Mr. Rob Ronan here again, and after the patches come out, I felt like playing some Tabito. Not for any great extravagant reason, but I've, you know, just thought about the changes that the characters got, and I realized that I haven't played Sabito in ages. I don't know if I really ever played him online at all, so may as well try. And something that was interesting, or I think it may have been even the only change he got, oh no, he got some consistency changes, but the only other change he got, similar to some other characters, was that his DP, like his spinning whirlpool that's invincible, is now harder to block. So some other characters like Water Tanjiro got this exact same change, but they got it changed to different degrees. So they made it so it has less recovery and it pushes the opponent further back. But Sabito's pushes the opponent so far back now that I'm actually really intrigued to see um, like if people will actually punish me for going for it. Okay, I guess I don't get a combo there, like Water Tundra would. What? Who hit me? Was Nezuko still out? What the heck? It actually looks pretty good, but the delay is a little bit more noticeable than usual, even though I do say that every time. Be such a master, I thought I'd go for a little bit of a lame ass reset, but it didn't work. Am I gonna die here? I keep forgetting that I'm I've got a support. I was just trying to focus on this character. Oh wait. Eh? He doesn't have a his reversal doesn't have the invincibility or my whirlpool doesn't start up instantly? Because you see the text come out. The text came out, but I still got hit. Interesting. What on earth was that? I somehow blocked the parry? I don't know what's going on in this game anymore, guys. Where are you going, Sabito? And I got punished for that? Are you kidding? This is not my day. out of here with this stupid parrying support call-in nonsense. Oh, I'm actually getting a combo. Oh god, it wasn't enough. Did I win? Yes! Okay, he did try to, to make the fire wheel safe by calling out Nezuko, but he did a little bit too late. Once again- Oh no, but she went behind me, damn it! I should have gone for my DP there. I really don't know what is optimal. I know there are some absolute sweats that use Sabito that like go for all these kind of um God damn it, I hate when that happens. They go for these kind of sidestep cancels and go into his really quick charge um armor attack because it builds armor so quickly. But I'm I'm not that guy. Or am I? <laughs> I tried! And it worked, kind of. He didn't block, but I still got the kill. Yes, look how safe that is now. Ooh, 
Ooh, that was kind of cool damage because we both hit. Oh crap! Yeah, I was going for a grab there. I was mashing real hard. Oh. It's a little risky going for an ultimate there, but I guess he knew I was going to really commit to some wild mix. It's okay. Oh my god, it's not so okay, actually. Jeez. Are you kidding me? I did that to get rid of both of them, but Nezuko still somehow hit me. Oh my god, these supports, guys. I guess I did win with my own support, but... They're just such a nuisance that even though I make fun of myself every time for constantly talking about them, there's just no way I can go a single round without complaining about them. Unless it's a demon mirror match, supports are a problem. No, yeah, the invincibility starts up really not so early. Like, you can see the text come out for when I go for my DP, but it doesn't actually come out. Oh, wow, his throw reaches really far, actually. Nice, I got basically all my meter back. Thanks for covering me, Makomo. Oh, my last longer. Okay, I'm definitely gonna die for that. It's only kind of safe on block. On whiff, I'm certainly still gonna die. Oh, I should have got a, done a quick rise. Okay, thanks for messing up. Nice. Okay, okay. We're kind of doing some stuff for a character that I've never played online, I don't believe. I mean, I'm certainly not doing anything fancy or optimal or anything character specific at all, but we're managing to do stuff. Ow. Ah, my god. Just spend a bunch of meter and get it all back so we can break out of combos again. Okay. <laughs> mashing, mashing after my TP is a little bit too... What hit me there? We just went... Okay. I know my TP is kind of safe, but mashing after it is a little bit too... Pushing it a little bit too much. I don't really know what I was aiming for there. I was just gonna go for a dash in into a grab reset, but I was so close to them that the dash just instantly hit. I switched to Nezuko now. You kind of got some changes, but not really. Nothing too noticeable. Except like a slight nerf to like some of her hitboxes, which is always kind of good. Have her be less ridiculous, of course. No, that was really way too risky of me. Especially after just breaking out of a combo, I can't just go flailing with buttons like that. Am I alive? Oh, I am alive. I don't know. Okay, yeah. If she's gonna keep going for grabs right after I go for my DP, I should probably just like try and sidestep or jump or something. And I might get a punish on them after I do my D after I do a DP. Which could be really cool. I know nothing I do is optimal, but I'm just trying to do stuff. Ow. Yeah, I'll break out of this. Oh my god, and I just get instantly hit right afterwards. Okay. Um, what do I want to do? Go into surge mode, just to get my meter back. 
Oh my god, that was not intentional, but that was awesome. Hey, yo, how am I getting hit? What is go- I died. That's what's going on. Wow. I mean, no surprise that I was not doing anything uh, particularly skilled there in Soge mode. But everything I did, she responded to perfectly. Like going for an ultimate, going for a pushback, and then when I tried to go for a YOLO ultimate, she like knew that she could cancel her special move right into her ultimate, and because it goes afterwards, it would hit mine. That was, that was good stuff. I'll try and be a little less ridiculous and try and <laughs> maybe play a little bit more properly this round. But when you don't know actually how to play the character, it's a little bit harder. Nice. Nope. Yes, cool. I hit her as well. Thank goodness. It's always a bit of a hope. Did she still hit me? Why was it? That dash of mine was meant to come out ages ago. So it feels like. When you play a game like this, it's... What? what? I, don't, I really don't know what just happened. <laughs> when you play a game with so much delay, it almost feels like you're playing like chess or some kind of card game or something, where it's like this turn-based thing where you're just playing on predictions of what is going to happen in the like next round. And, oh my god. Cool, I guess. Where are you going? How come his support is doing so well at catching everything I do and then I try and call you out once and you instantly whiff? Where's the justice? Maybe I should try just doing her neutral summon instead of the, the water wheel. The water wheel does not seem to be working well for me. Okay, well that one doesn't need to work either. Maybe I shouldn't rely on Makomo. I just wanted to use her as a support because, you know, it's canon. And, oh, I'm so glad that hit him. Okay. At least it's not an awful punish. Get out of here. Stop being so defensive and trying to parry my dash. It. Try hard. Yes. Oh no! I forgot his is hard to punish as well. He still ended up winning overall, but still. It was a little risky. Yes. Honestly, it's such a gamble um, mashing at that point where he summons Nezuko, because really it just depends on when Nezuko or where she falls from the sky. Because if she falls behind me, then I'm dying. But if... Are you kidding me? How... I armored through it, and then I was like, aha, uh -huh, let me just sidestep afterwards. But her hitbox was still freaking active. Oh yeah, he's got a really hard one too. <laughs> oh, and I'm still... Punishable. I guess I should call out a support right before I go for a throw. But I still didn't. <laughs> Ow. Okay, well if I call out a support and go for a throw, I better actually hit it and not just give myself to them to be punished. Goodness me. No, he went for it first. Oh goodness, oh goodness, oh goodness. Right, last round. I've got a lot of meter. I get conflicted as to how I should use my meter as well. So I'm not a demon, so going for boosts and surges aren't as about. <sighs> aren't as valuable because I don't heal. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yes. Yes. I know how to use my meter disrespectfully at the end of the round. That is for sure. One button, three minute long super for 2% of his life. Yes, I will. Nice, we managed to pull through at the end there. It was looking a little bit scary, but I don't know. I guess we just mashed at the right points. But did you notice? I forgot the point of this video was to use a lot of guard specials, my DP, to check how safe it is. But every time I did do it, he didn't actually punish it. The only two times that I didn't work so well is when he went for a grab afterwards because I was mashing. <laughs> But even when I just used it at the end there, I went for an armor attack afterwards, and yeah, he wasn't able to punish it.